Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is practicing subtraction fractions. So this is uh, lesson 3-6 in our, in our Go Math edition for second grade. And so here's our question for our really awesome teachers of what are some ways to remember differences. So they're probably going to uh, talk to you about uh, how, how related uh, addition and subtraction are. Anyways, here we go. So Ginger put four colored tiles in a circle right here and then three colored tiles on the outside of the circle. So let's go ahead and uh, write an addition fact uh, to, that uh, can represent this model right here. So we can do <clears throat> this four plus three equals seven. I think that's what I did. Yep. Um, and then so we could also do, uh, so we're, let's repeat this with some other related things. We can do this 3 plus 4 equals 7, because here's 3 and then 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 plus 4 also equals 7. And then we can do some subtraction facts. We can do um, the whole, which is all 7 of them. All of them are the whole right there. So 7 minus this group right here would be left with this group right here. So 7 minus 4 equals 3. And we can do the whole and subtract off this difference. So, so 7 minus 3 also equals 4. Okay, so explain how the difference facts uh, in Ginger's models are related, related to the subtraction fact. So here we had this model right here, and we came up with these four facts. For, um, this 4 plus 3 right here equaled the whole right here. And then this 3 plus 4 also equals the whole, which is 7. Or we can do the whole and take off this piece. It'll give us this piece. Or we can do the whole and take off uh, this piece right here, and it'll give us this piece right there. Okay. So all four facts use the same whole and the same parts, whether we're adding them or subtracting them. So Here's some ways, other ways to find some differences. We can count backwards, okay? So 7 minus 3, we just uh, count backwards. So here, let me put, uh, here's 7 fingers right here, and we just take away 3. So 7 minus 3, 1, 2, 3, and we're left with 4 fingers left right there. I use my fingers all the time. I, I encourage my students to continue using their fingers. Okay, 9 minus 3, here's 9 fingers. If we took off 3 fingers, 1, 2, 3, we're left with uh, this one left over with these five, so we're left with six right there. We can also think about the missing add-ins. We can change uh, this subtraction to an addition problem. So, so five plus what number? Five plus what number gives us eight, okay? So here's five right here, and there's eight fingers right there. So five plus three equals eight. So we can just count up. So here's five and then six, seven, eight. So it took us three additional fingers right there. Okay, so the related uh, subtraction fact is going to be um, uh, the whole. So the whole, which was eight, and we took off eight minus uh, this five will equal this three right there. Okay, so that's another way to do that also. Okay, okay. So here, let's write uh, the difference right here. Can you hear that noise right there? That's a little dog named Lucy. She's about 10 pounds. I found her in front of my classroom on a January cold morning. It was foggy, and it was cold, probably, I don't know, in the 40s, I would suppose. She was cold, shivering, starving, scared, and uh, anyway, so here she is. She's a new addition to our family since January, so she's a happy little girl. Anyway, so, uh, okay, so 6 minus 4. Okay, I'm going to use fingers here. Here's 6 fingers here, and we'll just take off 4 fingers. So let's just take off these 4 right here. Okay, we're left with the thumb and this finger. 6 minus 4 is, is 2. Okay, and then over here, 5 minus 2. Okay, so let's here's 5 fingers right here. If we just take off 2 fingers, let's take off these 2 fingers right here. 5 minus 2 is going to be 3 right there. Okay, so just some strategies right here. Okay, 14 minus 8. Okay, so we can think of change it to an addition problem. 8 plus what number equals 14? Okay, so 8 plus what number? So... So what I like to do is uh, we got 8, and we'll just start counting fingers until we get to 14. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it looks like there's a hand plus a thumb. So 8 plus 6 equals 14 right there, okay? So here, 11 minus 3. I think I'm going to count backwards on this one by 3. So 11, so let's count down from 11 to t uh, by 3. So 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so we counted down by 3. 
Okay, just some other strategies right there, okay? Now remember, you guys, um, uh, addition and subtraction, they use the same whole and same parts, especially when you're talking about the same whole. Okay, so for example here, 5 plus 4. Okay, well, here's 5 fingers. Here's 4 fingers. How many fingers are there? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9. Okay, so 5 plus 4 equals 9. So look, here's 9. It's the whole. So if we take away 9 minus this part right here, it's going to be this part. I'm giggling at Lucy right here. She wants my attention to grab the toy so I can throw it for her. And she's going to play tug of war with me right now. She'll probably growl a little bit. Anyway, so so 9 minus this number is going to equal this number. Okay, so 3 plus 9. I forgot how I did that. Um, okay, so I started with 9 here. Start with the bigger number and just add uh, add 3. So here's 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, use, uh, use your fingers, you guys. They, they're a great uh, tool for helping adding and subtracting. Uh, so 3 plus 9 is 12 right here. So let's go ahead and put the 12 right there. So that's the whole right there. And these are the parts. 3 is a part and 9 is a part. So 12 minus this number is going to be this number. 12 minus 9 is going to be 3. And if I said what's 12 minus 3, it would equal 9. Okay. All right. So 8 plus 7. Okay. So what I did is I, um, I know what 8 is. And I just counted using 7 fingers. So 5 and 2 more. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 14, 15, and I kind of knew that because that 15 is right there, okay? So that's the hole right there, and these are the parts. So if I take this hole and I subtract off this part, it's going to equal this part. If I take this hole and subtract off this guy, it's going to equal that guy. So, so 15 minus 8 is 7, okay? All right, you guys, hope that lesson makes sense, and hope you're having fun in your math class. Take care.